The one minute strategy is by far one of the most popular strategies for binary options. And I know you want to learn it more in order to make more and more money. So in this specific video, I'm going to share with you today's webinar that I had exclusively with the members of the BLW binary master app, where I actually had a extended webinar explaining you the best entry points, showing you live. How is it that you're supposed to enter these transactions? And as a matter of fact, I just made $2,000 live directly with them. So if you want to learn this specific strategy and you were wondering entry points and many other stuff that uh, probably you were confused about, this is the moment to learn. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into the webinar and hopefully you enjoy it. Hey people, can you guys, can you guys hear me? We got an opportunity right here that is going away. Oh, I missed it. Uh, this one, AUD USD. Hopefully, guys, we're looking at it. Let me know if you guys can hear me uh, and see my screen well. Uh, we're starting the brand new session today. So, uh, yeah. Cool. If you guys can hear me, that's cool. Yesterday we had a terrible day, so we need to recover today. The RSI hasn't really touched yet. So uh, when it touches, then you guys can go ahead and enter. It, uh, it didn't quite touch yet. Uh, I took another risky entry right here, but it didn't touch yet. So uh, try to get the highest point, try to get the touch of the RSI. I think an, another green candle might do it. So uh, yeah. Welcome, welcome, good morning. Today we had some news on USD. I don't think that's gonna affect that much as yesterday, but uh, something that we have to keep in mind, right? All right. Those who were patient, not unlike me, uh, probably you guys are in the money now. <clears throat> Good. Good job. All right, let's try to look for some more. Good job, people. You see the RSI has been completely overbought for the last few uh, minutes. And it's because of, uh, we got rebel news on USD twice today. So you just gotta be careful. And when you see that all of the bears have a good payout, that basically is a bad sign for volatility. It basically means that it's kind of risky to be trading, you know? Mm. 
Yeah, this one. I thought it was gonna drop, but it didn't. So we're just gonna continue. Now I'm not gonna set a put position here because you can see that it has been broken one, two, three, four, five, six times in the last hours. So we're not gonna risk there. Uh, let's see what we can find. This one will keep dropping. So USDCAD could be a good call, uh, but you gotta wait for, for that drop, all right? This is the support level. So pretty much it's gotta get there. Now this one could be a good put position because it's a complete downtrend. So if by any chance it reaches like around this level by jumping to the RSI, basically the price will continue to drop because it's a strong downtrend. So that's something to pay attention to, all right? <clears throat> this payout went down already on AUD USD. Euro AUD, let's see. Uh, same thing, same thing. Could be a good put position. Um, I would say around this level. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Yeah, around right here, some somewhere there. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. Uh, USDCAD, it didn't drop. Oh, uh, yeah, it didn't drop. Then uh, GBPAD, uh, let's monitor it. And your AUD, this one looks like it's actually becoming an opportunity, but wait for the hours out of touch, right? It hasn't touched yet, so be careful. I put the line as a reference, but the RSI is the one that is actually has to touch. All right. If anybody enter at their own risk, always let me know, because uh, I also use that as a reference. All right. Even with the cross of the stochastic kind of pushed up. That is actually good because it's actually giving us opportunities, right? But we're waiting to be snipers here. You know, I'm actually uh, thinking about creating a robot uh that will trigger trades at the time that uh, the candlestick actually touches the rsi i'm thinking about it i'm not saying i'm gonna create it but just fyi uh i bet that is actually very low i actually enter very low right now i don't know probably the rsi is gonna touch around this area it's crazy Oh, we gotta play the dice. I don't think the broker is not gonna allow it, you know? I mean, we could use trading view so that you guys can be sure, but honestly, uh, that would lose a lot. We're, we would miss a lot of good entries because we can't really see the payout. Another thing I could do is uh, use a different broker such as Quotex, but again, the payout is gonna be completely different. So you see, I actually lost this one, but the trade hasn't been activated yet. 
and it's an another push. Oh shoot, I missed the push. When it's slightly, this is the right push because it actually jumped a bit and then it touched the RSI and now the stochastic is kind of crossing going down. So I actually missed this good entry at this level. Uh, it's not good. Uh, it's gonna be really hard for it to go up again. I mean, at least to that level. Well, although right now, the, the, the stochastic is kind of retracting, you know? But we need that like extra push, all right? That's what we gotta be patient for. If we miss the signal, that's fine. It's better to miss it than lose it. This one went away. This one hasn't touched. So it's gotta be this one, the only one. All right, I enter at the exact level that I draw it. This level is just as a reference, or right? it's not a, a resistance line or anything like that. But now the RSI is actually touching. So now we can say that the trade is activated uh, around this level, somewhere there. So the next one should be a red one. Even if it has a jump, it should be a red one. If not, obviously the trade is gonna be lost, but that's fine. Uh, let's just wait. Did anybody enter this trade? Let me know in the chat. Cool, uh, Finn, Luis, and Sebastian. All right, let's see. All right, so I won the first one. Uh, unless something weird happens right now. All right, so I won the second one. Good job. Yeah, it was a win. But see, this time what I decided to do is was to let you guys know that you need to be patient, okay? So maybe we're gonna place less positions than usual during our sessions, but we're gonna be a lot more accurate because um, we're gonna be extremely, extremely patient and careful. Does that make sense? You guys wanna do that? Cool. Uh, we're not gonna get into this one. And the reason why is because this is an uptrend and it's pretty strong. As a matter of fact, you, know, you guys, you know what? I'm gonna add a moving average to the chart so that we can identify like the trend and just avoid avoid uh, a an uptrend uh, the trend I'm sorry so this is something new I'm not gonna go into it because look if we enter around this area we should be in the money like most of the times okay but if we go against the trend it's going to be slightly more complicated now one thing you should know is that in an uptrend or downtrend uh most of the times in an uptrend the rsi uh, on the 30 is not going to touch and in a downtrend the the 70 rsi is not going to touch either okay um so we're going to have less opportunity we're going to have less opportunities but i guess we can handle it for instance, this one right here could be a good call position because it's not strong downtrend. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna send the signal right now, AUDCAD call. But again, we gotta be super patient. All right. Again, this is just as a reference, so we're not gonna pay attention to the actual moving average per se. If we only see a strong movement, that's what we are going to uh, be doing. Uh, I, I sent another call position. I, I sent one before, but it wasn't activated. So I don't wanna send too many signals at one so that we can monitor one or two at the most. So bear with me, all right?
Why is it not loading? It's taking forever. All right, this is an uptrend, but it's not as strong as other uptrends that we've seen before. So I'm gonna send it, but we know the game, right? It has to touch. The RSI has got to touch. I'm gonna draw a line just as a reference, but that doesn't mean that is the entry point. The entry point is when the RSI touches, okay? Is that clear? Just making sure. Yeah, it's kind of laggy today. Wow, it's taking forever. Well, good job. Very welcome. All right, the RSI hasn't touched yet. We need a couple of more red candles or a big red candle to enter. This one didn't touch. All right, jump back up. So you see, we have less opportunities. We got less opportunities uh, when we're more patient than usual, all right? All right, well, have a good one too. Good job. You guys uh, should know that getting out of your trading session is as important as knowing when to enter. The rest of the people, how are your, how was your session so far? Can you guys share your results? Sorry, I just had to take a call. <laughs> I'm still here. Yeah, uh, yesterday was horrible. 3 1, all right, good job. 2 1, that's good. Yeah, no worries. We're looking for more. Patient, and we're waiting for an another drop for the RSI to touch, all right? The bet, good job. You should stop by now. All right, it hasn't really touched yet. You see, it hasn't really touched yet. So we all have made the mistake of entering right here because of the push down. But sometimes we win, sometimes we lose, but we just gotta be patient, all right? Uh, Euro JPY, let's go ahead and focus on this one first. Uh, now it's good because it actually touched right here. It could drop more, but I enter at the beginning of the candle, like to be extra safe. But if this candle actually ends up slightly red, it's gonna touch entirely. So we will be able to have another entry, okay? But let's wait for the end of the candlestick because we don't know how far it's gonna drop or if it's just gonna spike up, okay? So let's just wait and be patient. Uh, guys, I'm actually looking at less pairs right now, actually. Sorry. Oh, I kind of missed the entry of the other camp. Hold on. This is kind of being stable, which is not good for this strategy. <clears throat> Sorry. So the first entry that I had, which was risky, was right here. 
it, it was out of the money. Now this one is too stable. So why would sh should we enter more, right? We have one entry. We're gonna see where how that one actually goes, and that's it. If we lose it, we lose it. We're not gonna have more entries on this one, okay? Uh, I'm gonna take a look at the other pairs in just a little bit, people. Now this is the problem. And by the way, I haven't really mentioned this too much. This is the problem with entering at the middle of the candle that even though I want it, but when the next candle starts and we have like two seconds left or something like that, it's gonna, we don't know what movement is gonna happen in the last few seconds. So this one we want it, but sometimes it could, it could have dropped slightly more and then be green candle and still we lose it. Uh, people, Euro JPY put, uh, I couldn't really monitor it. Let's see. Oh, come on. This was a win. Why did you guys not get the win? This was the entry candle. This one right here was the entry candle. So it should have been a winner. Yeah. At the pick of this candle, it was when the RSI touched. If you guys entered before that, obviously you lost it, but we're not going to count it as a loss. We're learning, all right? We're learning. It's completely normal. But just so that you guys know why you lost that position, it was basically um, because you guys were not patient enough, okay? So we got this. Uh, this is a winner, and USDCAD, we won it too. Now, it's kind of dropping again, so it, it is giving us a new opportunity. So we're going to enter again. Um... And we're gonna see right now it doesn't seem like it's touching because the candle when it drops slightly it kind of touched it so the best way to enter would be when the end of this candle or at the lowest of the candle it actually touched which is exactly when i entered now something that you also have to look at is the stochastic the stochastic is kind of crossing down so i took a risky trade right here i don't think i'm gonna lose it but the best entry would have been this candle right here after the cross. Why? Because after the cross, it's more likely that the price is going to jump and cross back up. I know it's a lot of information, but hopefully you guys are, you know, keeping the pace. Um, let me see if you get, let me know if you guys enter USDCAD again on a call position and what was your entry point. Uh, maybe you guys were able to catch, catch it along with me. Honestly, here it actually said it was a tie, which was weird, you know, because it was a winner the whole time. Um, yeah, right now the RSI is kind of touching. It hasn't break it, it hasn't broken it, but there's a chance that can be broken. So this is a risky trade. Only enter if you guys are willing like to go with the risk on this one, because since it has been on this area for too too long there is a slight chance that it's going to continue dropping and it's going to break the rsi all right whenever you guys see that the rsi like continues to be in that area either jumps strongly or keeps on dropping which is not good for us okay uh right now it's kind of looking good but this pushback is basically becoming a dodgy it, it, it is risky that the price is going to drop and this is what i was telling you the candle stick is going to expire but i still have five four seconds left in my trade so if this one actually drops strongly on the next candle i would have lost this position okay so it's actually super 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 important um we want this one too so we're good to go uh usd cad let me see so far, I am 5-0 in signals, but I guess, I'm guessing and I'm assuming that this is a way more profitable session in, when it comes to information, so it's actually good. I'm actually uploading this one on YouTube, so um, share your results so far. Share your results that you have so far. Uh, this is going to be a call position. Your uh, JPY is going to be a call position when he touches the RSI. But yeah, let me know how you guys are doing so far today.
three one. Okay, three one. That's good. And it's kind of starting to jump. Three one. Good results. All right, this one looks good, even though it's an uptrend. So this is going to be kind of a risky trade. It's going to be a call position and euro CAD if it drops a, lot, a little bit more in touch of the RSI. Just be careful, all right? Try to get one entry and that's it. Try to get at the exact same moment that it touches the RSI or that it slightly crosses it, okay? Other than that, you shouldn't enter. And if you are in negative right now or tie or you don't want to mess up with your results, just don't go ahead and take this one because this is slightly riskier. If it touches, right? I don't think it's touching right now. Wow, well, we kind of missed a good entry here. We can get them all. This one's completely overbought, so no worries. All right, this looks like it's going to be a good put position. GBP CAD. Just wait for the RSI to touch again. This one could drop a little bit more in touch, but you know what? Just go ahead and buy this because there are too many red candles right here. So that's not good for us. Let's just wait for this one. Uh, Euro JPY was also a call, right? Um, all right, no, it's not even close yet. All right, this one started to drop. Uh, in the money for your JPY. Careful in there because the RSI didn't touch. All right, so this one looks good. AUD JPY for put. Um, wait for the touch of the RSI. I think this one is not going to be breaking the RSI, I think. But you know what? Let's just wait for the uh, stochastic to be overbought as well. The Euro JPY trade is actually not applicable, at least for me. So we're not going to count it on the signal results. Yeah, just be patient, all right? Don't just crazily enter. You see, the RSI hasn't really touched yet. It's like one millimeter, but that millimeter can make a huge difference on your trade. Even if we miss it, that's fine. It's better if we miss it than we lose it. Kind of get a good resistance level in this area. We got to jump more, otherwise we're not entering. Oh, you're a JP1, you're a GBP in the money. All right, no worries. Uh, which one was that? I don't remember when I sent it. I think it was not applicable. I think we missed this one too. That's completely, completely fine. Again, it's better to miss it than to lose it. See, if you would have entered in this candle because you thought it was going to be a drop, right now would be super risky. Even if you win it, why would be nervous? Why would you be nervous about it? Now the uh, stochastic is kind of pushing it down right now, so I don't know. That's good, Moen. That's good. All right, this one's gone, so we're gonna look for more. I think a couple of more should be good today. Today is more educational than actual number of trading. You guys agree with that? USDCAD, I didn't send the call, did I? Well, not right now. I sent it in the past. All right, not a book. Are you guys enjoying uh, this session like it is right now? And by the way, if you guys have questions, this is the moment to ask. Okay. Euro JPY dropped and it activated the trade. Did anybody enter? Because I was looking at other pairs and I couldn't. Euro JPY, did anybody enter? Uh, Euro UD unfortunately has a low payout, so I'm not going to go with it. 
but you were JPY activated and I couldn't really see it. Let me know if you guys entered because this was an activated signal. Couldn't enter myself. I'm almost $700 off, not the best, but all right, missed it. Cool, no worries. All right, it was a big win. So hopefully someone got it. Even if you guys don't comment it, uh, put a comment on it. Um, hopefully you guys got it. All right, uh, AUDJPY, thank you, uh, Stian. Oh, slightly more jump. I could have, there you go. I, I need to enter with a small green jump, you know, like somewhere around here or at the beginning of this candle. Did anybody enter this small? Because right now it's going to draw because of the stochastic. Did anybody enter AUDJPY got activated again? Sorry, I can't look at all the pairs. Well, at least when I'm doing this educational content is kind of hard for me to like keep, all, uh, you know, uh, telling you all the information and trading at the same time. Mm, right now, I don't know, man. I'm gonna enter one risky trade, but that's it. I'm not gonna enter more because that jump, it's not normal, all right? It doesn't go with the with the rhythm of the asset. You see, it keeps on jumping. And plus the RSI got broken. The actual signal should have been taken right here. Okay, right here on these two candles. So uh, I don't know, did somebody enter at the exact right moment? Because right now the one that I enter is completely risky. I think it's gonna be impossible for me to win it. So this is what you need to identify. Okay, this was the entry, these candles. This one, it's just crap. <laughs> I just lost it. Stian, I'm not sure. I don't think you you won it because you enter 65 around right here. Yeah, it was too high, uh, too low, I'm sorry. So uh, yeah. Yeah, sorry about that. You see right now it's broken, so no need to risk that one. 513, all right, let us know how it goes. This one looks good, AUDCAD, AUDCAD put, but uh, the RSI hasn't really touched yet. If this one is kind of a green one or at least high, it should have been a good entry point. Right now we need slightly a big jump because the RSI is too far away. So let's just wait for the jump, slightly more. We need some more. At, at least I think the next candle is gonna be. If the next candle is actually a green one, uh, we might have a chance. Uh, even though this one became a small green one, so right now there's a crossover right here on stochastic, so it might not jump more. Or oh, right now it's jumping. That's beautiful. So it's giving better entries and the and the stochastic right here, it's kind of crossing going down. I think all AUD pairs are going crazy right now. So be very, very careful, all right? If it keeps on going up, then don't enter anymore. Like literally right now on this candle, don't have more entries. Because if, it, it, if we have a new green candle, then basically the RSI is going to be broken. So we shouldn't enter that one. All right. Now it's looking good. Uh, there we go. I won the lowest one. So most likely I'm going to win the other two. Yeah, in the money. Good job, people. Good job. You see, there's no need to rush. There is no need to rush. There is no need to risk more than what's the regular risk of the trade. So uh, I think we're good to go. Uh, right now, I don't know how many trades I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
15 and a loss of five. So uh, that means that 10 out of 15, that's a 66% in my end. It's not in the signals. As a matter of fact, in the signals, I got a zero. So share your results right now. I'm waiting for this to be updated because it's actually going to show me uh, the profits that I was able to make. But let me know right now your results. Uh, and we're going to finish this session today right here. Yeah, we don't we don't need to be 10-0 every single day. Oh, that, that, you, you, we are 3-1 and we're good to go. So I'm just going to put the screen right here so that people can actually see it. 5-1, uh, 4-2, Luis, still profitable. Probably not as much, but still profitable. Uh, anybody else that want to share uh, your results so far? And maybe if you want to share in regards to money, that's good. $9, beautiful. What was your trading amount? That's actually important. No. $6 trading amount. All right, that's good. So probably is like a what? 10% um, of your balance. All right, profit $14. Uh, all right, good people. Thank you for sharing your results. Right now, uh, we're going to finish with the session, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I don't know if my profit is already showing right here. I don't think so. So let me just go ahead and uh, refresh it. Yeah, it's still not showing my last four trades. Oh, there you go. 14 trades, uh, $2,000. So $2,000 in profit is what I was able to make today. None bad at all for this session so hopefully you guys enjoyed it um uh, enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you guys tomorrow 15 gmt cheers hey so hopefully you enjoyed these webinars uh honestly this is what i have every single day at 15 gmt at the blw binary master app website so if you in case you want to be part of these sessions the link will be in the description of this video it's pretty much more than explained during this webinar what is it that i do with the members of that group. A lot of people made money. So if you want to be part of it, blwbinarymasterapp.com. So if you enjoyed the content of this video, make sure you smash the like button as usual to support this YouTube channel. But more importantly, be subscribed for more content just like this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.